Have you ever wondered why public speaking often seems so daunting? It's a common fear that can affect many aspects of our lives, whether it's delivering a presentation at work, speaking up in a group setting, or even expressing your thoughts and ideas in social situations, the fear of public speaking can be a significant obstacle. This fear, also known as glossophobia, can hinder career advancement as it prevents us from seizing opportunities to showcase our skills and expertise. It can also limit our social interactions, making it difficult to connect with others on a deeper level. And perhaps most importantly, it can undermine our self-confidence, causing us to doubt our abilities and second-guess our worth. But why does this fear grip us so tightly? It's often rooted in the fear of judgment, the fear of making mistakes, and the fear of the unknown. Understanding the fear is the first step to overcoming it. Now let's delve into some practical tips for effective public speaking. The first step to effective public speaking is thorough preparation. There's no two ways about it. Preparation is the cornerstone of any successful public speaking engagement. It's a process that involves understanding your audience, researching your topic, and practicing your speech. Each of these steps is crucial and they all work together to form the backbone of your presentation. Understanding your audience is the first step. Who are they? What do they know about your topic? What do they expect to learn? Knowing the answers to these questions will help you tailor your speech to meet their needs and interests. It's like being a chef who knows exactly what his dinner guests like to eat. You wouldn't serve a steak to a vegetarian, would you? Similarly, you wouldn't give a technical presentation to a non-technical audience. Now let's talk about researching your topic. This goes beyond just knowing what you're talking about. It's about becoming an expert in it. It's about being able to answer any question that comes your way and providing insights that your audience wouldn't get elsewhere. It's about adding value to your speech and making it worth the audience's time. Finally, we come to practicing your speech. This is where the rubber meets the road. Practice is the key to reducing anxiety and improving your performance. It helps you familiarize yourself with your material and it allows you to iron out any kinks in your delivery. It's like rehearsing for a play. The more you do it, the more comfortable you become with your lines and the better your performance will be. And remember, practice is not just about reciting your speech over and over again. It's also about getting feedback, refining your message, and improving your delivery. It's a continuous process of learning and growth. So whether you're giving a speech in front of your classmates, your colleagues, or a room full of strangers, don't underestimate the power of preparation. It's the secret ingredient that can turn an average speaker into an effective one. Remember, preparation breeds confidence. A well-prepared speech is a strong foundation for effective public speaking. An engaged audience is an interested audience. How do you achieve this? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer, but a few tried-and-true techniques can help you captivate your listeners. Picture this. You're telling a story. It's not just any story. It's a story that's relevant to your topic and resonates with your listeners. Stories are powerful tools. They engage the imagination, evoke emotions, and make complex ideas more digestible. They're memorable, and they create a shared experience that can bind you to your audience. So whether it's a personal anecdote, a case study, or a fictional scenario, don't shy away from storytelling. But what if you want to make your audience more than passive listeners? That's where questions come into play ask questions, and not just rhetorical ones. Encourage responses. You might be surprised at how a simple question can spark a lively discussion and foster a deeper understanding of your topic. Now let's talk about humor. It's a tricky tool, but when used correctly, it can lighten the mood, disarm skepticism, and make your presentation more enjoyable. Just remember, humor should be natural and appropriate. Forced or offensive jokes can do more harm than good. Eye contact and body language are also crucial for engagement. Maintaining eye contact, even in a large room, creates a sense of connection and sincerity. It shows your audience that you're not just speaking at them, you're speaking to them. Your body language, on the other hand, can convey enthusiasm and confidence. Stand tall, use gestures to emphasize your points, and show your passion for the topic. Your energy can be contagious, inspiring your audience to share in your enthusiasm. So there you have it. Stories, questions, humor, eye contact, and body language. Five powerful tools to engage your audience. Remember, your goal isn't just to inform, it's to inspire, to provoke thought, and to make an impact. When you engage your audience, your message resonates more deeply. Keep them hooked from start to finish. Delivery is just as important as content. So, how do you ensure your delivery hits the mark? Let's delve into the elements of effective delivery. To begin with, 
Pacing is crucial. Just like a suspenseful movie or a gripping novel, your speech needs rhythm. You don't want to rush through your points, leaving your audience scrambling to keep up. But you also don't want to drag and risk losing their interest. Practice varying the speed of your speech for emphasis and effect. Next, let's talk about modulation. This is the art of changing the pitch and tone of your voice. Monotony is the enemy of engagement. By varying your voice's pitch and tone, you can convey different emotions, highlight key points, and maintain your audience's attention. But remember, silence can be just as powerful as words. Strategic use of pauses can create anticipation, give your audience time to absorb your points, and add dramatic effect. It's like the punctuation in your verbal story. Now, onto nonverbal communication. This is everything from your facial expressions to your hand gestures, your posture, and even your movement on stage. Nonverbal cues can reinforce your words, express your enthusiasm, and connect with your audience on a deeper level. Yet, all these elements mean nothing if you don't maintain a relaxed and confident demeanor. Confidence is infectious. If you appear confident, your audience will have confidence in you. Practice makes perfect here. The more you practice your speech, the more comfortable you'll be delivering it. One last point, don't forget to be yourself. Authenticity resonates with people. Your unique style and personality are what will set your speech apart. Master your delivery, and your words will have a greater impact. The way you say it matters as much as what you say. So, own your stage, command your voice and deliver your message with conviction. Your audience is waiting to be inspired by you. Stage fright is a common challenge, but guess what? You can conquer it. So, let's dive right into it. One of the most effective ways to manage stage fright is through deep breathing exercises. It's as simple as it sounds. Before you step on stage, take a moment to close your eyes, inhale deeply, hold it for a few seconds, and then exhale slowly. Repeat this a few times. This simple exercise can slow your heart rate, steady your nerves and clear your mind, helping you to focus on the task at hand. Next up is visualization. This is a powerful tool used by many successful public speakers. Picture yourself on stage, delivering your speech confidently. Visualize the audience clapping, smiling, engaged with your words. This positive imagery can boost your confidence and lessen your fear. Remember, your mind often can't distinguish between reality and imagination, so if you can see it in your mind, you can do it in reality. Now let's talk about focus. It's easy to get caught up in the fear of what others might think of you. But here's a little secret. Public speaking is not about you, it's about your message. So instead of worrying about how you're coming across, focus on your message, on what you want to convey. When you shift your focus from yourself to your message, you'll feel less self-conscious and more empowered. Lastly, it's crucial to view public speaking as an opportunity, not a threat. Yes, it can be nerve-wracking, but it's also a chance to share your ideas, to influence others, to make a difference. Every time you step on stage, you're growing, learning, and improving. So embrace the challenge. Welcome it as an opportunity to step out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. Remember, every great speaker was once a beginner. Face the fear, and you'll become a better public speaker. So take these tips to heart, put them into practice, and watch as your stage fright transforms into stage might. We've covered a lot today, let's do a quick recap. We started by acknowledging the fear of public speaking, a daunting task for many but not an insurmountable one. Remember it's okay to be nervous. What matters is how we channel that energy into something productive, next we focused on the importance of preparation. This is your foundation, your safety net. It's what allows you to speak with confidence and authority. So, do your research, know your material inside and out, and practice, practice, practice. We then moved on to audience engagement. Your audience is not just a passive receiver, they are an active participant in your speech. Use storytelling, ask questions, and employ humor to keep them engaged and invested. Mastering your delivery was our next point of discussion. Your voice, body language, and pacing are all key elements that can make or break your speech. Lastly, we tackled overcoming stage fright. Remember, it's all about mindset and practice. Embrace the art of public speaking. With practice and these practical tips, you'll be captivating audiences in no time. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.